there's a whole variety of baits that you can use. One of the baits that I really like to use for casting is called a grandma or a jake. And uh, they come in a bunch of different colors, big plastic lip, they dive real well. They have a really good big lazy wobble and you can retrieve this very slowly and the wobble just attracts fish. And there are times that you just cannot keep the big musky and pike off this lure. You can look at the holographic sides of the bait and I'll tell you what, when the sun shines on that, the reflection is incredible. Draws those fish in, big lazy wobble, sends out sound waves. Muskies have glands, as pike do, at the side. And they pick up the vibrations from these lures. And they come in, they hone in, zero in, and bang, you've got a strike. Don't be afraid to mix up the colors. Colors are important. A lot of people tell you on bright days, a lot of the experts tell you to use natural colors. I say let the fish tell you what to do. Use whatever. I use bright colors, dark colors on sunny days. Anything works. They say fire tiger is the best for a cloudy day. I've caught more fish on fire tiger on sunny days than Heinz has pickles. I'm going to change up after this cast. Don't use one lure for too long. You know, change her up. Let the fish tell you what to do. So it's time to go to the, the musky box and see what's there. Oh, I'll tell you. Let's see what we got in here. Where do you start? Where do you start? Say it again, look at me. Where do you start? All kinds of baits. People say it's the, the fish of $10,000. <laughs> These are fun baits. Big rubber, they look like an alien. We call them the bulldog. When things won't go, sometimes this is the lure to go to. It's got a big piece of lead in the head. You can fish it on the bottom. You can fish it like a jig. Don't be afraid to scent it up. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll stick this in a Ziploc bag with a little bit of sardine oil. Let it stink up for a couple days. And I'll tell you what, smells but produces fish. This is another really good glide bait. It's called a pig, jerk bait, glide bait. Nice finish on it, a little bit smaller. Sometimes you got to downsize a little bit early on in the year, great bait to work over weed beds. As the summer starts, you start getting into July and August, I like to go to bigger baits. Bigger baits produce bigger fish. Time to get back at her.